Michigan case offers an example of how public trust suffers when police officers lie. Associated Pre. S.S. A black man who was detained by police during an early morning walk in a quiet community northwest O. F. Detroit says the white officer who threw him against a squad car, cuffed him and accused him of place. Anning to break into a car also told a significant lie. Brian Cheney says he asked for a supervisor during his arrest in Kego Harbor, Michigan, and police. Officer Richard Lindquist told him that another officer present was in charge. The problem. That second officer was not a supervisor or even a. Below are your comments. Yet we can be charged for lying to an officer. We as a society we should decide if the truth is of paramount importance or not. If so, lying to extract a confession or justify an arrest should be a one-and-done termination other. Wise we are just going to continue our post-truth world. I like to think that all cops are inherently good, but that would be a fantasy. Cops need regular evaluations not only on performance but for psychological health. They should also be tested on theoretical situations based upon true cases frequently. Most police really do not know much about the L. An officer can lie in the field when he's not under oath, Kego Harbor Police Chief John Fitzgerald D. said. That is absurd. A cop is always under oath. They swore an oath to the Constitution and the law when they became cops. They swore to uphold the constitutional rights of every citizen. That's why I call them criminals with a badge. No integrity, no morals, no ethics. Just liars and criminals. All departments should have national standards of conduct and stiff penalties for abuse of power. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.